Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick trick to scale your textures using shader graphs so that they are centered on a plane. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and add a plane. And I'll just zero out the position. And then I am just going to show you the issue we are trying to correct. So let's say we have a new material here and I'll assign it to the plane. And let's say I want to use this texture. Um, this guy's name is Ian. If you recognize him, uh, then you're probably a fan of a certain podcast. Um, but with the texture, let's say I want to scale it down. Uh, so to do that, I would probably go in here and change the tiling, uh, but that adds more people here. So let's go into textures, change this to clamped instead of repeat. So then I just have one, but now it's not centered. Um, now, if I wanted to try and manually fix this and you could change the offset by a certain amount and like try and get it right um, but instead of doing that I am just going to just set that to none for now instead of doing that I am going to go into my shaders folder right click go to create shader graph I am using the universal render pipeline and I'll just choose lit shader graph and I'm just going to call this a uh, scale and center shader. And then I'll open up the graph. And the first thing I'll want is my texture. And I will feed that into a sample texture node and feed the color and the alpha. First I'll go in here and change it to a transparent shader. And now I'll feed the alpha into the fragment channel. And this will just give you a regular uh, texture just projected onto the object. To scale it, I'm going to go ahead and add a tiling and offset node and feed that into my sample texture. And what this is gonna do is it'll tile the image or offset it based on these values here. So I will add a scale float and I will attach that to the tiling and that'll just control the size of the texture. And then as far as getting it centered, I will add a multiply node and I will multiply it by negative one and multiply the scale by that. And then I will add a divide node and we're going to divide that output by two. Space this out. And then finally, we're going to add an add node. Feed our output into here and we're going to add by 0.5. And then that will be our, our offset for our texture. I go ahead and save this, go back out, right click on our shader graph, go to create material. Then we can just go back to our scene. And here I will set the scale to one and choose our face. And I'll just throw that onto our plane. And just for testing purposes, uh, just so it's easier to see. I am going to just uh, change this back to opaque. Now if I go back to our scene, it looks the same as it did before, but if I were to lower that scale value, it is scaling through the center. If I increase it, then it's getting smaller. So there you have it. Just a short little video. I figured I could make this video pretty quick showing this off. Um, it's something that I had to look up myself, so figured why not put 
the information out there in more than one place. If you like this video, uh, leave a like and comment what you would like to see next.